Hi, it's Mr. S, and today is about factoring quadratic expressions. And I'm only, I'm only going to do simple cases only, like this, x squared plus something x plus something, a number. And this, in, this, in this video, my goal is to um, show the factoring. And it can be used to solve quadratic equations, like this equals zero. You have to solve for x. x equals something, right? Or you, to graph those quadratic functions, y equals x squared plus something, you know. And or to determine components of quadratic functions like max and minimum, um, y and x intercepts, zeros, things like that. So you can do use uh, factoring to do any of these or maybe more. So let me first talk about factoring and distribution. Distribution, by the way, I've done this video a few days ago, so if you want to check this one, um, please look at the video I've showed about this distribution using website. And I'm going to say that factoring and distribution are related to each other. They're, op they're opposite of each other, I should say. When you're distributing, you're multiplying each component inside the parentheses to another, the other parentheses. On factoring, you have that distributed expression and now you're making those parentheses, the multiplication. So from the expression, you are going to make the multiplication. And that's what I thought about factoring is. Um, so here is an example, a very simple example of factoring. Let's suppose you are designing a garden that is rectangular and you can use up to 200 square feet. And if you don't want garden, you can do yard, you can create those fences, it doesn't matter, but you have 200 square feet and using that space, that 200 square feet, what will be the dimensions of the garden be? So I'm looking for the length and the width. Length, the, length and the width of the area, and the area is 200 square feet. You might thought about 10 and 20, 10 times 20, that's 200. Some of y'all might thought about 40 times 5, maybe 50 times 4. 2 times 100. So different variations are possible in this question, but I want you to think about what you did right now. You had 200 as an expression, and then you made 40 times 5 or 10 times 20, you know. And that's what factoring is. You have that 200, that equation, um, expression, and you made the multiplication from it. 40 times 5 or whatever. So I'm going to use two websites today. Both of them are about are using algebra tiles, and the first one is NCTM. I'm using this one for other videos like um, solving equations, expanding it, which uh, I've done these two earlier, um, this month and last month. So. If you want to check the videos, please do so. And what I'm going to do today is factor, this factor mode. So let's look, like, take a look at this quadratic expression, x squared plus x. Now, remember when I did this expanding, what you, the result was you had this part, this part, and the result was here and you made a rectangle. In factor mode, you please start with creating a rectangle like this. Or, 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 maybe like this. Either way, start off making a, by making a rectangle. Once you're done, Look the row and column length and width of this rectangle. This part is x. 
I'm putting parentheses so that I know that this is multiplying. This is one of the dimensions. And this part is x plus 1. That's 1 right here. This side is x, but this side is 1. So x plus 1. And you're done. Now, this NCTM website, for some reason, this factor mode does not give you you're right. It says you're wrong. It's not because you got it wrong. It's it's not because of the expression that I put. It's some reason. It's not going to check your answer. So please keep that in mind. Okay. There are different variations on this factoring mode, so if you want to try these, please do so. Let's take another one, GeoAlgebra. It's doing algebra using geometry, so it's using algebra tiles. Um, please wait while we're loading, but this part right here, it says number. These are the equations that you can cho choose from. This moving this uh, bullet will give you different um, equations. On here, this it will wait. Um, this part, when you click, it'll give you an answer. Here it is, like the uh, factor mode. like this and by clicking this or moving this will give you a new equation this part you move these tiles I'm not really concerned about this point nor the quadrilateral or those any other these not re really worried about this one either all I'm worried about is this numbers all right so let's take a look at an um, example Maybe let's try something different like this one. X squared plus 5x plus 4. I'm gonna, I can click this to check the answer, so before that, I'm gonna do it. Model it first. Now, like I said before, I am going to make a rectangle. As you practice, as you do these often, you'll be able to um, put these tiles into a rectangle faster. Probably the first time you do this, it's going to be like draw and error, you know, um, maybe this works, maybe this works, oh it's not working, so you have to change it, you know. I've been doing this for a couple times, so I know what it looks like. Here's one, two, three, four, one more tile. Not like NCTM, it's... The tiles will not like fit to each other, so um, I'll try my best to create a rectangle. And here it is: x squared plus one, two, three, four, five x plus four. Same rule, um, same steps. Next is to find this part and this part, the row and column, or the length and the width. This side is x plus one, two, three, four. You don't have to move this if you don't want to, but I'm just doing it to show that you can move this if you want to. And there you go. And then on this part, it's x plus 1. So the factored expression will be x plus 4 times x plus 1. Check the answer. Got it. Now you could say x plus one times x plus four. It doesn't matter it, whether it. It doesn't matter if you have it opposite or or backwards. It's still the same. There are different variations. So if you want to try these, go for it. It's geogebra. Right. And if you were to do this algebraically, it's not really that complicated. What you need to do is 
go back here to find two numbers you multiply to get eight the two numbers the same two numbers that add to get negative six and different you know if it's eight you have just like the um, example I showed here not here but here you have 200 and you're I'm looking for the dimensions length and width same thing I have 8 I'm looking for dimensions but I'm gonna make it a little bit more strict the limit is those two numbers have to add up to be negative 6 it could be 1 and 8 2 and 4 it could be negative 1 and negative 8 negative 2 and negative 4 of those the sum or the um, the result of addition will be that's going to be negative 6 will be negative 4 and negative 2 so the answer will be x minus 2 and x minus 4 to check I also have this tiles so if you are still uncomfortable um, keep doing those tiles for example you can move these around x minus 4 well x minus 4 It's a little bit slanted, but it's okay. And then I have eight small tiles. Now, I'm using this orange tiles as a negative, and I'm using blue as a positive. Once I have the rectangle made, it's not a good rectangle, but it'll be fine. <laughs> X minus four. 2 on this left side x and then minus 1 minus 2 this side is x minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 minus 4 check right. the last topic is so as a summary to factor a quadratic for expression that looks this way you need to find two numbers that you multiply and get C, or the product is C, and add to get A, or the sum is A. Now, I'm not use, doing things like this in this video. If there were a number in front of x squared, or 3x squared, or negative 2x squared, it doesn't matter, but if you have a number in front of x squared, then the rule that I just showed will be will not be used. Also, what if the numbers what if there are no numbers that work, like four and negative seven? Negative seven, the factor of negative seven, you only have one and seven, one times seven. Whether you, even if you add negative seven and one or seven and negative one, you're not gonna get four. In this case you have a special way to do it. Same thing here, but I'm not going to do on this video today. All right, so that's the end of the video. Please check this summary. That's all things I've done. If you're comfort, if you're not still comfortable, please use those websites, the NCTM and the GeoGebra website to practice. Once you feel comfortable, do it algebraically. And that's it for today. So please, if you like this video, please like it, leave a comment, or and subscribe my channel, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.